And I'm going to read one. That's not mine. And this is kind of more of a rant than it is a poem, but we're going to call it poetry for the sake of this. <laughs> Vulnerability is wasted on the stupid. <laughs> and I am the stupidest <laughs> son of a bitch I know. <laughs> it's like in grade school when you count the kids in front of you to see what part you're going to need to read so you can practice before it's your turn and forget to listen to the rest of the information. It's like that moment when you're in the middle of a spelling bee but you realize you only know the last word. What I'm trying to say is, love makes you think you know the answer, but it turns out it's just a dick head psych professor that is just using you as a social experiment. <laughs> You see, when I say love comes when you least expect it, like, no shit, Deborah. I haven't even bothered looking that direction in seven years. Damn. It's no wonder I got hit like a bus. But to be fair, I was told to get out of the way like a zillion times. <laughs> but, you see, you caught me in my blind spot. Because when I say I push people away, I mean it. Like, lock and safe at the bottom of the ocean kind of mean it. Like, I'd rather light myself on fire than admit I have feelings kind of mean it. Like, damn, why did you have to make me a liar kind of mean it. <laughs> I mean, you did meet me blow for blow in the ring, and yet I was the one who got KO'd. I mean, it really isn't fair when I'm the one who taught you exactly where to hit, right? And that's just the thing. You share a secret, I'll share mine. But all of mine were on the table at the time, and I should really hate you for that. You see, I want to be mad. Like, the kind of angry I could actually write better things about. But the disgusting thing about growing up, I guess, is that I'm not. And I don't think I actually could be, at least not really. Because as your friend, I want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy. I want you to have exactly whatever it is you're chasing, even if that's not me. This one is not mine. It's called Instructions by Rudy Francesco, a bon poet, one of his older pieces. Gather your mistakes, rinse them in honesty and self-reflection. Let them dry until you can see every choice and regret become brittle. Cover the entire surface in forgiveness. Remind yourself that you are human, and this too is a gift.